guys, it's us outside our business. Yeah. I am Dijon, aka One Man One Life. And I'm DeAndre, aka Drago Wild. And we're gonna be talking about So You Think You Dance Finale! Ooh. Woo! Yay! Yeah. We're going to be talking about the top 20 Broadway number by Warren Carlisle. It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, it was it was really nice to see all the dancers return and like you know some had some stuff to prove yeah and some people like dropped the you know I, I like I feel like once the competition starts people have like this like exterior that's kind of like a facade mm-hmm. and it's like makes it hard for you to connect to them yeah. but like once they're eliminated and they come it's back just like oh yeah I'm just I'm just dancing yeah and it, it was really it was really nice to see that yeah I, I enjoyed it. it it was fun. And yeah, it was a great piece. Moving on, we're going to talk about Zach's um, choice dance. And he chose his dance with Amy, and it was choreographed by Soya Taya. Oh, Soya Taya? Yeah, yeah. it was Soya Taya. Oh, okay, I, I thought it was a really great choice. It was definitely a turning point because he was finding himself in the bottom a lot. Mm-hmm. And once he did that dance to prove, like, okay, he's way more than just a tapper. He's yeah. a great dancer. Um he found, found his way to the finale, yeah. so it was, I, it, was the, it was the perfect dance for him to choose. Yeah. He, he did it well. Yeah. Um, I was, I wasn't like on team Zach from the beginning, but I, I, I kept my eye on him because it's like, some little fishy with this. He's not just a tapper. Mm-hmm. And when that dance happened, I was like, yep, yeah, I was right. He's not just a tapper. Mama has done some other stuff. Um, between that, the Australian winner... Um, Michael mm-hmm. did his solo. Mm-hmm. We've already seen that yeah. solo because we watched So You Think You Dance Australia. This is a thing we do. Yeah, because we're crazy stands. Yeah. We even watched like a weird, like, I think like Ukrainian episode. Like, was it? I don't know what it was. It was yeah, kind of scary. It was, it was weird. Yeah. <laughs> we did one of those. No, we did one. And we never <laughs> went back there again. But yeah, it was great. Like, pff, what are you going to say about that? Mm-hmm. That's one of those top tier mm-hmm. solos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so Paula Abdul made me a little nervous. Yeah, I don't she was know shaky boots. Why they insist on letting her talk and not give her a prompter? I yeah, don't understand. I don't like know. she was just like spitballing, yeah. like, oh god, <laughs> like Paula, please. <laughs> she makes me so nervous. <laughs> I, can, I can't. I, like I have to like she, almost she, leave, she, leave the room when she's like on screen <laughs> without a prompter. Someone needs to help her. Okay, help. Paula's down. Like, where's her cup? She needs help. They brought the top four back out. Mm-hmm. And Kat went to eliminate Zach. Mm-hmm. You knew, you thought for yourself that mm-hmm. Zach was going to be the first person mm-hmm. out. I thought so too, but I was, I kind of like Zach a hair bit more than Jessica, only because I felt like he was solid more throughout the season. Mm-hmm. I think he knew. And I, I just, I got the feel, the feeling that everyone wanted that to win, like the people of the show oh, wanted yeah. that to win. Like yeah. everybody was like, We love you, we love yeah. you like and that, they didn't really do that to anybody else really. On next we have Valerie. She chose her dance. It was her and Zach doing a tap by Anthony Marigerado. It was it was great. Yeah, I mean again a very wise choice. It was definitely like a great first impression that she made on America, and Mm -hmm. obviously... It it, worked. Yeah, it worked. So, um, yeah, it was a great piece. There was a couple, like, flip-ups, like, um, I guess, like, it was slippery on Valerie's side of the stage, because she almost fell, like, twice, and it was, like, the exact same spot. Mm -hmm. But, um, and it was really small. I was just paying really close attention. Um, But, yeah, it was well done, well chosen. Her tapping on stairs or staircases... What? Yeah. And they had fun. Yeah. That dance was hard the first time they did it, and I'm pretty sure it was just as hard the well, second no, time. No, I'm they sure did it was it. way harder because like they have, they have yeah, like, they, they have to have like a whole bunch of dances in there. Yeah, head. In the, in and the head. Yeah. 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 Next we have Ricky. He chose his dance. Um, Ricky and Jessica, their contemporary piece by Sonya Taya. One of my favorites of the season. Mm-hmm. It was just such. A, uh, talk about great first impressions. I really thought with that dance. Ricky and Jessica were going to be in the finale, and lo and behold, that's where they, they were. were. Um, it was amazing. I thought this was actually, I felt this was done better the 
this time than the first time. I think because um, all of them grew. Like, uh-huh. all the top four grew uh-huh. as dancers from the first time we saw them. For me, it's like, I call it get my Game of Thrones. Because she's giving me, like... Khaleesi. Khaleesi, this. and he's giving me, like, one of her dragons. Sure. So, that's what I get from the piece. Okay. <laughs> there was no package involved, so I created that in my head. Mm-hmm. Um, you create whatever you want in your head, and it'll be fine. And Jessica, she chose her dance with Robert, the contemporary piece, um, by Travis Wall. Speechless. I honestly feel... Because even in a lot of the good, really great dances, there's, like, screaming and, like, people are like, yeah, like, whoa, like, when there's, like, a lift or, like, when there's, like, something really epic that happens, like, there's always, like, some kind of noise. Mm-hmm. And within this piece, it was just absolutely quiet. And it just, this piece really takes my breath away. Yeah. It's such a great piece. And it was such a great way for her to end mm-hmm. her run because she was a little shaky in the beginning because mm-hmm. she did not get... Appropriate dances, appropriate dances, or and choreographers, or choreographer, or it's not or concepts, yeah. I should say. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the top three came out, and then Cat eliminated Jessica, and of course she was gracious and happy and cryy, crying mm-hmm. and all of that. But and I also called that one too. Yeah, I I called that she was probably gonna be third. Yes. Right after that, um, Ricky and Valerie did their contemporary piece. Um, was it like the first week they were together? Mm-hmm. Um, it was by Travis Wall. Mm-hmm. I, like I said earlier, Valerie in this piece was so much stronger and better. She's already a great actress, but mm-hmm. she's also become like a better dancer mm-hmm. because of this show. So you can just tell watching that piece. It was. Yeah, it's same thing. It's and then like Ricky's just like what? I mean, you can't like you just I, like it goes without <laughs> saying almost. It's almost a joke at this point. Yeah, it's just like you don't really need to say anything about Ricky because he's amazing. So, so in between all of this madness, the top ten with the All Stars danced um, together, and it was choreographed by Sonia Taya and Chris Scott. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> like, at this point, it's just everybody have stepped it up. Everybody has grown so much. It's just really a really great show. Yeah. Really great with really great dancers. Love it. Lo- loved it. Loved it. Yeah. It was great. And I really like them two as a combo, Sonia and Chris. Mm-hmm. They it do was... really well together mm-hmm. as far as like pulling, putting pieces together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's always theatrical, mm-hmm. it's always larger than life, and it's great. The concept was really yeah. cool. I really, really liked it. We, after Ricky and Valerie danced, mm-hmm. their last dance, they had them come back. Mm-hmm. So we can figure out who won. The winner, yeah. And lo and behold, Ricky Yay! won the show. I called it like that. Like it was funny because I, uh, I knew exactly how it was gonna play out, and it did that way. And I, that never happens for me, so I just kind of have to. I let him have. Yeah, that. I have to toot my little horn. Oh God, that didn't sound right. I have to toot my own horn. Uh, God. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. uh, Hera, help us. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I'm so happy. I'm happy that it played out this way. Yeah. This is what I wanted. This is what I thought it was gonna do. I'm happy. Ah, uh, this this warms my heart. I just want to put him in my pocket. Like, like just like to have and like just to be able to pull him out and just be like, go spin, spin, do it. You can do it. That's a little slavey. I tend again. I don't know. This is like a recurring theme. I tend to get creepy when I love things. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I need to work like, on You're giving something. me Jabba the Hutt realness right now. <laughs> Slave boy Ricky. Yes! <laughs> Anywho! Yes, Ricky won. I'm so happy for him. Um, I really would have been happy with any of the top four winning, but Ricky has just been a beast this entire season, and not only was it America's favorite dancer, I think technically he is the better dancer out of this top 20, mm-hmm. um, specifically. It was great. I yeah. loved it. Storybook ending. Storybook ending. And that is our storybook ending <laughs> of So You Can Dance and Recapping. 
Hopefully they get a season 12. If not, I will be very, very upset. <laughs> and Fox will get a nasty letter from nasty, me. Nasty letters. Yes, because there will be multiple. Yeah, yeah, it won't be just one. Ta! Bye, guys.